Peace. Hello. Welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today, we're going to be reading for the sign of my lovely Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021. This will be a three-card general love reading, so please take the messages that resonate. And as always, if you'd like to see what's going on with you and your life, you can book a reading on my website, ladyscorpiustarot.com. All information will be in the description box below. Shout out to all the new subscribers. I reached a, a thousand subscribers this month. Um, and I really appreciate you guys' support and long and uh, longevity with me and my channel. Um, you guys, I will be doing a giveaway maybe at the end of the month, maybe early July. So please take please look out for that as well. And yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. This is for my Virgo, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus. Please hit that bell button, subscribe. All right. Universal Spirit, Angels, Ascended Gods, and Masters. What messages do you have for my Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021 in their love life. I actually give me messages out of love like clarity for my Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021 in their love life. Okay? Give me three messages. Three cards from my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April. I ask you to get messages I love, like clarity from my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021 in their love life. Universal Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgo? Okay. Free yourself. Okay. Mm. The overall energy of your love reading today for this month, Virgo, is free yourself. It says it's time to take back control of your life, okay? For some of my Virgos, maybe you feel like your love relationship or you just, like, you've just been so engulfed in love and relationships or marriage that you haven't really been time, like, you haven't took the time to truly take back control of your life and do the things that you want to do for yourself. Some of you guys are going to be starting to get into that this month in April, okay? You guys are going to be trying to free yourself from a, a situation that feels like stagnated, okay? It feels like you're just going in the same circles over and over. It feels like the infinity, you know, like the number eight, like you're you're not changing or you're not, you know, you're not growing or evolving with your partner, okay, for some of you guys. I feel like for some of you guys, you guys could be stuck in a situation that you wanted to get out of a long time ago. You know, maybe you feel like you and your partner are not on the same page no more, but you've been holding on to the situation, probably for the sake of family, children, whatever the case may be. So, yeah, some of you guys are wanting to, like, release yourself from feeling stuck and trapped or within a connection or relationship, okay? Let's get into it. The first card we have is Attraction. The second card we have is children. And then the third card we have is healing family issues. So um, with the attraction card here, so you guys attract uh, romance. Uh, you, uh, you will attract romance in your life by enjoying the moment fully. So I feel like for some of you guys, um, you could be working on your beauty right now. You know, you can be getting your hair done to make the, you know, spice up the romance in your relationship. You know, you can be doing your makeup, get your nails done, or just, you know, dressing really colorful, getting out there, mangling or whatever the case may be. I feel like some of you guys are definitely working on your attraction this month because, you know, your partner even sees you as beautiful. Other people outside of your relationship sees you as beautiful. And maybe some of you guys probably let yourself go over some type of time, you know, for some time now because you were so engulfed with maybe children uh working on family issues or whatever the case may be but now it's time for you to step back into your power work on yourself okay um we have the children card so it says your love life is being affected by children so some of you guys who could be connected to a partner that has children okay and which could be affecting the connection uh rather if your children does don't get along with him with, with him or her or maybe you you're the single person when I mean, you're the person that doesn't have any children and your partner might have children and maybe they're not you know they're not comfortable with you yet whatever the case may be it feels like your love life is being influenced by your children so maybe you might have a child at your home um, that might be affecting the connection between your marriage, okay? Maybe you feel like if your child wasn't home, maybe uh, you can spice up the, the romance a little bit more or have more time for your partner. You wouldn't have to worry about children so much. But hey, you know you know how that goes. Um, we have healing family issues. So it says your love life it will benefit as you forgive your parents. So I feel like for some of my Virgos, you could still be having some type of resentment towards your mother or your father or just your parents together as a whole. I feel like some of you guys that had challenges childhood challenges or traumas from your uh, biological parents it has affected you in this present moment on how you give love to maybe your children and your spouse okay so try not to um harbor on to old past traumas and work on self work self um 
shadow work or whatever so if you guys feel like you have to do some type of soul work and development you can work on soul work i also offer readings on um for soul development and transformation I also offer um spiritual counseling so if you guys are interested in that check out my website okay ladyscorpionstar.com but i feel like some of you guys are needing to work on healing family issues that's been affecting your love life okay um we're going to get into it and just get to some deeper meanings and see what's going on Spirit, clarify the attraction card for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021 in their love life. Why is the attraction card here for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021 in their love life? I ask you to give messages on love line clarity and clarify the attraction card. Okay, Knight of Cups. So some of you guys could have a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Who's wanting to come in to make you some type of love offer? Or maybe you want your partner to come in to make some type of love offer to you with an apology. Um, I feel like if you don't know this person is coming back, somebody's definitely trying to return to you or offer some type of cup. This person can be very immature how they give love or how they express love. They can be very elusive or just very, very, you know, wear their heart on their sleeve, you know, so to speak. This can be your energy as well, uh, Virgo. So, you know, watch out for that. But let's clarify and see what comes after this. Um, give me another clarify for the attraction card. For my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021. All right. These cards pop right on now. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. So some of you guys are working on uh, self-love. Maybe you have, you're have you with somebody that's a wish fulfillment. You're going trying to go after your wish fulfillment, which can be with a water sign, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We also have Fire Sign, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but I also say if this is not uh, that, this could be self-love. So this can be you working on self-love. You know, somebody could be trying to come in and nurture you or come in and woo you around and give you an offer. You know, trying to say, I'm sorry or I apologize. I do need to pay more attention to you or whatever the case may be. Um, but I do feel like with the Nine of Cups, some of you guys could just be really like needing to... Uh, go into self-love for yourself like work on self-love self-indulging sometimes this also can represent overindulging so try not to overindulge or over drink when it comes to you know going out and drinking and having a good time or dating for the ones that's single um i do feel like with the page of wands some of you guys are like dealing with a leo Sagittarius that wants to come in with a passion some type of passionate message i feel like this person could be coming in rather if it's for the male phallic for sexual reasons or they could just be coming in with some type of passionate message or offer okay but i feel like with the queen of swords some of you guys are needing to speak your truth about how you really don't have time for the games some of you guys are needing to cut off person people that come that's coming into your life um with addictions or you know just giving you half-ass cups you know because we we're looking at the knight of cups we're not looking at the king the king is a stable a stable solid committed man he's a great father he's a great leader he's a balance with his emotions but with the knight the knight has a lot to learn they come in and out with their emotions and they do this with every people everybody so it's like they'll give their emotions to you they'll give their emotions to somebody else they'll just share their emotions to whoever they feel like they can get a wish fulfillment with at that time or some type of attention they can get from that person so stay away from anybody that's coming off like as a player like player type energy or coming around just giving you passing the messages and then they're off to the next you know it's time for you to cut out anything and work on your attraction work on you know enjoying your life as a single person for the ones that are single or just enjoying the moment fully okay Let's see, why is the uh, Queen of Swords here for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021 in their love life? Clarify the Queen of Swords for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021 in their love life. Some of you guys could be connected to a Gemini Libra Aquarius. We have Leo right here, the sun. So some of you guys are needing to cut out something that's not making you happy. Um, somebody, It could be somebody that has a child. You know, some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, air sign, a water sign that has children. And they could not be honest with you about the things that they've been have doing behind your back, how they've been overindulging, how they've been coming in and out, giving you half-ass offers. And I feel like they have a, a child that could be on a way that could be manifested right now. Or they could be very youthful or whatever. Or maybe you feel like they, you wanted them to be your wish fulfillment, but you're realizing that you have to cut them out okay why is the sun card here why is the sun card here for my virgo sun moon rising and venus for the month of april 2021 why is the sun card here for my virgos sun moon rising and venus for the month of april 2021 clarify the sun card for my virgos 
Okay. Yeah. Ace of Wands. Some of you guys are wanting to cut out somebody that you feel like it also could be involved, like already have a family or a child. And a lot of you guys are wanting to cut these people out because you're trying to go after your peace. You're trying to go after your happiness. Um, I feel like you're trying to be optimistic about love and you're trying to step into your attraction mode more, like go out, meet different people. With the Ace of Wands, I do feel like some of you guys could have started something new. Like I said, sexually, could have had sex, <laughs> you know, started something sexually passionate with somebody like a, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We have Gemini, we have Leo on the board, we have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay? So some of you guys could have just been having some type of passionate sexual relationship with somebody, but you realize that this person has two options, okay? So some of you guys are dealing with a person that has two options because with the lover's card, this represents Gemini. Usually this represents a person having a choice between two lovers, one that's a divine connection and one that's just maybe a long-term connection. So this person has a head over heart decision to make when it comes to a love a uh, love offer, okay? But with the Ace of Wands, I'm feeling like some of you guys could have started something new and passion with a Gemini. But I want you guys to be careful um, and speak your truth about, you know, not wanting to deal with anybody that's still dealing with multiple people. I'm feeling like some of you guys um, could be dealing with somebody that is still connected to a Leo. And um, they might not be being honest with you about it. They still might have to choose between you and somebody else. So some of you guys are needing to just stay away from that and free yourself from that. I feel like somebody's been doing this for a while now because we do have the eight... We had the, um, I'm sorry, we didn't have the eight. So I feel like somebody was doing this for a while now because we have the nine of cups. So you could be dealing with somebody for like nine months, nine years, uh, nine weeks. But I just feel like, you know, some of you guys are just really need to free yourself from a connection and work on your self-love, okay? All right, let's get into the children. Why is the children card here for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021? Why is the children card here? Why is the children card here for my Virgo? Some of you in Venus for the month of April 2021. Clarify the children card here. Why is children affecting their love life? All right. So it says your love life is being affected by children. For some of you Virgos or whatever, some of you guys could have been dealing with a third party situation, whereas though it, it could have something to do with children. You could be dealing with a person that's still connected to their child's uh, father or mother. And this can cause a lot of uh, conflicts and disagreements, um, arguments. I feel like with the five of uh, wands, some of you guys could be connected to a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, or water sign, um, or the other signs that I mentioned previously. But whatever this is, it's some type of conflict surrounding children. I feel like maybe some of you Virgos are wanting to have children of your own. Or you're dealing with a person that's still going through spouse issues with their child's mother or father. Or, you know, disagreements with family members, co-workers, or friends when it comes to children and you guys' connection or whatever's going on with you guys. But whatever it is, it's causing some type of third-party heartbreak. So I feel like you could have found out that your par par partner or the person you're dealing with is still connected to their child's mom. They can still be messing with them and then messing with you. And it's just causing some type of third-party energy. Let's see. Uh, give me another clarifier for the children card. Why is children affecting Virgo's love life right now for the month of April 2021? Clarify the children card. Why is Virgo being affected by children for the month of April? Wow. Eight of, um, eight of Pentacles. So some of you guys... Maybe you felt like you invested a lot into this person. You know, you felt like you invested a lot into this person and, you know, they put you through a third party situation. They could be not honest about how many children that they had or if they were still dealing with their child's mom or child's father, whatever the case may be. And I feel like some of you guys are just needing to work on yourself. You could have just invested a lot of money, energy, time and effort into this person just to realize that they still had you in a third party situation. And it was lying about a lot of bullshit, okay? Now, see, why is the three of swords here? Oh, wow. Yeah, two of wands, Leo said to Aries. Some of you guys are needing to leave somebody behind and move forward towards your ships. Okay, some of you guys are waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for something fruitful and something dependent to come in. Some of you guys are wanting to move away and travel um, or travel abroad and go meet somebody. Maybe some of you guys are wanting to meet somebody in a new area. But I feel like with the two of wands, once you leave something behind and move forward towards a new beginning then you might have a, you know, you'll have a new start. You'll have a new passion begin, a new start, okay? Because with the two of wands, it always represents somebody waiting for their ships to come in, knowing that they have to leave something behind in order for something new to happen, okay? So some of you guys will have to make a decision on how you're going to cut somebody off fully and leave them behind, okay? Why is the three of swords here for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of, okay? Yeah, some of my Virgos, you guys can be up at night having insomnia, over this connection, knowing that this person has lied to you numerous times, they could have betrayed you, um, you know, stabbed you in your back, just created a lot of chaos and drama and toxicity. And some of you guys are needing to get some rest because you're lacking sleep. You know, some of you guys could be suffering from depression 
and it's a, it could be a solid depression and you might not be telling a lot of people, but it's time for you guys to realize that, hey, you know, you got to get over this mental heartbreak and it's all in the mind. OK, so if you work on self-love and free yourself from this connection, you will not have, you will not have to feel this pain any longer. The longer you stay in this connection, the longer you will feel the pain. OK, some of you guys come and deal with this person for five years. Some of you guys, like I said, eight years, three years, two years. Um, nine years for some of you guys, but it's just time for you to wake up and get out this connection because if this person's not going to give you the family dynamic that you want, or they're still tied to other family issues or dramas that they're trying to work through, then and, and, and it's not benefiting your life, Virgo, it's time to bounce, okay? Let's see, why is the five of wands here for my Virgos? Clarify the ooh. Wow. Okay. So some of you guys could have found out about a pregnancy. We have the Empress card in reverse, but it came like that. So this is Virgo. This is your energy of Taurus. Some of you guys are not pregnant. Maybe you can't get pregnant or you don't want to get pregnant to this person. I feel like some of you guys need to work on self-love and nurturing yourself. Okay. Um, your own family, if you have your own family. Okay. Um, but I feel like it could be some type of argument surrounding a pregnancy. Okay. For some of you guys, you could have found out that the person you were dealing with could have got somebody pregnant or could be still tied to a child's mother or whatever the case may be. All right. Yeah. The page of cups. This is messages about pregnancy. So this is messages about something being produced in the cup. Like I said, you, some of you guys could be doing for Pisces, but this is a uh, page of cups. So when you see a page of cup, this is messages about children, messages about love or something that was produced out of love. OK, so I do feel like some of you guys could could have found out that somebody is pregnant and it could have really messed you up. OK, you could have found out your partner you know, could have stepped out or still be dealing with somebody from the past, okay? So it's time for you to work on yourself. All right, let's clarify healing family issues. Why is healing family issues here for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April? High Priestess, you guys are talking to a psychic right now, or it's time for you to use your intuition and gain the clarity that you need, okay? Um, it's, you guys know that you need to work on some type of healing family, some type of, uh, family issues that's occurring right now, um, in order for things to work out in your love life, you know that you have to actually like go inside yourself and do the shadow work. Some of you guys don't realize that if you had abandonment issues as a child because of a parent or whatever the case may be who have left you, that can factor over into your love life. And maybe some of you guys may have a harder time to leave situations that's toxic for you and it's not good for you because of the abandonment issues that you have to heal from family issues, okay? So some of you guys are needing to wake up in, within yourself, listen to your intuition this month, do the soul shadow work, and know that family issues has to be addressed because this is why connections or you are, this is why connections are failing and why you're attracting the same type of people when it comes to love for the ones that are experiencing, you know, the negative uh, connections and relationships, okay? That's because of some type of family issues or whatever, family healing that needs to acquire, that needs to occur, okay? Um, yeah, some of you guys, like, are wanting to come out of the hangman. Like, you know that you've been stagnant at one point in time, and it's time for you to just come out of stagnation and stop holding on to people that's not good for you. With the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, some of you guys could have started something new with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius or Aries, and then we have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like whatever you end up starting or took a leap of faith that you did, some of you guys did something foolish and just took a leap of faith, not knowing where it would lead to, but you just took the option and took the offer from this person. And you thought it was going to lead to something solid, stable, and committed. But I feel like some of you guys are just trapped now. You're feeling trapped and bound to a situation um, because of the stability or the offer that was made. Why is the eight of swords here for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? The moon card. Some of you guys are needed to be true with yourself. Some type of secret will be revealed this month about this love connection, or you will find out the truth if you haven't already that somebody's hiding some type of secrets, okay? Some of you guys, this could be surrounded with like a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, if you're dealing with them romantically. I do feel like somebody, uh, you guys are needed to use your intuition and, and, and watch carefully with this person, this connection, because whatever type of entrapment this person feels like, I feel like it's surrounding like pregnancies and children okay so 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 stay stay open and stay on the watch when it comes to that okay so one more clarify for the uh, ace of pentacles for my virgo and we're done clarify the ace of pentacles for my virgo some who rise in venus april 2021 yeah some of you guys need to realize that you're better off single working on your own money your abundance and your fruits okay once you plant your seeds you will be very fruitful and then you know sometimes it might take you to be, to be single for like a good nine months nine weeks nine years <laughs> for some of you guys that's been in relationships and haven't took a break at all from being single but i feel like some of you guys have been single for a while but you're realizing that you're better off abundant you're more abundant when you're single and you're better off when you're single because you don't have to worry about the 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 pain and the, the the lies and the deceit okay so 
So that's what I have for my Virgos. Let me know if they resonate. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel. And once again, if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, leave your email address and name in the comment box, and I will select two lucky winners for my big giveaway, okay? Love you guys. Peace.